Next up, Pavel and I are going to introduce you to some creative ways that you can solve problems in Night City. A.V., I have a job for you. A client of mine is making an arms deal. He needs protection. It could get hot, very hot. The gun dealers on Maelstrom. Alas, nothing ever transpires as planned with them. You better gear up for this. Sovi, are you willing? Yeah, I'm in. Pavel, thank you so much for joining me. Now, there was an awful lot in that video, right? Because it's more than just guns. Absolutely. We have melee weapons, we have ranged weapons, we have cyberware, we have offensive cyberware, defensive cyberware, armor. We could talk for hours and hours about this stuff. I think just for today's episode we should keep it simple and let's just talk about guns. Can you tell us uh, the different types of guns that will be in the game? So we have three distinct types of guns in our game. We have power weapons, we have tech weapons, and we have smart weapons. Now power weapons are the most similar to contemporary weapons. One thing they can do, which normal weapons cannot, is ricochet bullets off of surfaces. So you can hit somebody hiding behind cover or hiding behind a wall. Now tech weapons, on the other hand, use electromagnetic power to propel a fully metal projectile to extreme velocities. What that allows them to do is to punch through cover or punch through walls to hit somebody who's not even aware that you're there. Smart weapons use guided missile technology to actually track targets in real time. So you can hit somebody who's dodging, running away from you, or you can hit somebody who's hiding behind cover. So Pavel, Cyberpunk doesn't just contain FPS elements, right? it's also a fully-fledged RPG. So can you tell us how you guys approached introducing those RPG elements into gunplay? So I can tell you one thing, Holly, it wasn't easy to merge those two elements <laughs> together. Now, uh, we've spent a considerable amount of time merging the RPG and FPP side of our game. What the player will experience is that V changes from a small-time mercenary to a legend in the world of Night City. V becomes more and more proficient in using weapons as the game progresses. So they will see that reload times become shorter, uh, the accuracy of your weapons grows, uh, you will have faster aiming time, you will move faster with your weapons. Everything becomes more in your control and that gives you more opportunities to defeat the biggest encounters that we've designed for you. So I have prepared a few extra questions for you, Pavel, if you're feeling up to it. Of course. Okay, well the first is going to be, how do you find more weapons in Night City? Like, where will players be looking for them? 
So I expect the players to look everywhere for new and exciting weapons. You can, of course, buy weapons at vendor shops and they will house an entire catalog of weaponry that you can get. However, the best weapons that you can find will be taken from enemies or loot caches that we have everywhere in Nice City. The weapons rarities range from common through uncommon up to rare and then legendary. And as they go in rarity, they actually climb in power. However, legendary weapons are very specific in such a way that they possess unique abilities that you will find on no other weapons in the game. The players will actually need to make some tough choices to find some legendary weapons because maybe they need to choose whether to kill a person who holds the legendary weapons that they want or to spare them because they like them as a character. So next question, let's talk about weapon modifications. What mods can people give to their weapons in Night City? So we have two types of modifications in the game. One of them would be modifications that we call attachments. So these would be scopes and silencers, and you can see them actually being attached to your weapon as you're playing the game. They give you statistics advantage and they give you more opportunities in gameplay. The other part of mods would be software mods. Now these are basically small chips that you install in, the, in your weapon and they actually change the statistics of the gun. They can give you damage, they can give you accuracy or they can give you more fire rate. Some of those mods actually change the gunplay on a more fundamental level so they can give you non-lethal rounds, biochemical rounds to tear through that armor even faster. So I suppose for my final question, uh, why don't you tell us about your favorite weapon then? Which is your favorite weapon so far in Night City? Oh, there are so many weapons that it's hard to choose just one, but I can mention some manufacturers with their weapons that I absolutely adore. The first manufacturer would be Tsunami Defense Systems, who produces the sniper rifle Nekomata. That's a tech sniper rifle. That means that it can pierce through walls. So you can actually hit somebody who's hiding behind cover or who doesn't even know you're there. Of course, I also like a close quarters approach. And what that needs is a shotgun. One of the shotguns that we have in the game is Budget Arms Carnage. Now that thing is cast from pure steel and it weighs a ton. However, you can cut a person clean in half with it. Another shotgun that I absolutely love, it's for a more refined approach, I would say, is a smart shotgun, Kang Tao Zhuo. That thing has eight barrels, and that means it can track eight targets independently. Now, killing an entire room was never simpler. Uh, Pavel, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Uh, I'm actually pretty interested to see what kind of weapons people discover when they uh, play cyberpunk for themselves. Before we end episode two, this is a reminder that those who wish to